Lindsay here from ReTheater, back to another Theater Insider Tuesday. So today I want to talk to you about adding the most important words you can back into your vocabulary, and that word is no. As educators and theater makers and artists and parents and young people, we are constantly under pressure to say yes. We are told that we have to say yes to the opportunities that are presented to us because well, when else are they gonna come back to us? If you are like me, I feel this pressure all the time because I worry that I will miss out on something. And while I am a huge believer in saying yes to the things that the universe brings to you, you also have to be able to say no, to be able to take care of yourself, to take care of your mental and physical health. So if you are like me and you need permission to say no to things, today, I want to be that person that gives you permission to say no. Say no to that parent volunteer who brings you down and causes so much drama. Even if you think you can't survive without them, you can. Say no to working with that director who brings you down, who is constantly dragging you down with their negative energy. Say no to anything that you consider really cool that you want for your production, but you know you're gonna have to sink 10 hours of time into it that you just don't have. It is okay. You don't need to have a perfect show. Your mental health and your students' mental health is so much more important because there are some things that you can't say no to. You cannot say no to your work or school obligations as much as we would like that to be the case. You can't say no to your family and their responsibilities there. And you can't say no to being a good person. A lot of people seem to think that good directors come into the room and are cranky and are mean and yell or that good actors come to school tired and worn out. That doesn't make you a good director or a good actor. That makes you a stupid director or a stupid actor. What kind of a person wants to be around negativity and what kind of a person wants to be performing at less than their best? Yes, there are gonna be times when you blow up in the rehearsal room. There are also gonna be times when you come to school tired. But if that is your mode that you constantly are operating within, I invite you to take a step back and look at what's going on around you and what things can you say no to so that you are able to be performing at your best and giving other people joy with the work that you're creating. That's all for this week. I will be back next week and I challenge you this week to say no to something that you just cannot take on right now. See you next week. Bye.